So this internship has been a great learning experience for all of us. Uh, among the technologies that we've used, uh, there's 3JS obviously. We use JavaScript to control the flow of our experiments. We use JSP to communicate with the server. And all our work is hosted on EDX. I'd like to invite Deepansh over the stage to demonstrate his experiment. Good evening all of you. My name is Deepansh Stogi. I'm going to present the simulation I prepared using 3GS library. It's based on the concept of idle gas law. Here you can see uh, the basic layout of the experiment. Uh, that's the box in which the particles will be there, will be added. And in this info, you will be able to see the instantaneous val uh, uh, values of all the parameters involved. Uh, like, uh, if we click here, you will be able to add particles. Uh, it's uh, that simulation I added so that he understand from where the particles is coming. As you can see, the values of those uh, parameters like pa particle count, RMS velocity, temperature, and pressure, they adjusted accordingly. And now, the various things that I can play with uh, in this experiment is uh, all given in the, that GUI controls, uh, graphical user interface controls. And the uh, learner can actually play with all those controls and learn the concept uh, behind the basic uh, idle gas law. He can see the information uh, regarding the experiment he, if he wants to see it again the theory is it's given here and the help regarding the experiment is also it's it has been shown now if we want to play with the simulation what we can do here is we can fix some parameter like uh, there are three parameters given pressure volume temperature and none uh, right now it's selected at none that means none of the parameters are fixed and I am uh, free to change all of these. Like here we can change the temperature uh, to see the effect of temperature on pressure and uh, RMS velocity. And we can change the volume and see the effect on pressure. That's, uh, that's the basic idea that the learner can play with the, uh, the experiment and see what effect it has on all the other parameters. Now. Uh, if we want to fix the temperature, then uh, I can show it to you. Like, if we change the volume, it will try to increase the temperature, but as, as the temperature has been fixed, it will automatically cool it down. That's uh, what I've uh, developed in the script. Now, if uh, we move on the assessment, then it's the basic CL algorithm that uh, Juhi already demonstrated. It's the basic equation, PV is equal to NKBT. I just uh, uh, edited to, um, I just uh, derived it to NKBT. So it is simple. And the algorithm is same. That's the basic level. So that's all from, our, from, my, from my experiment and from my team also. OK, thanks.